This video is sponsored by Enria. So these are the Enreal Air, a pair of entertainment focused AR glasses that delivers a personal virtual entertainment theater anywhere you want. It projects a full HD 201 inch screen right in front of you once plugged into a compatible device, whether that be a smartphone or a gaming device. They look a lot like regular sunglasses with some extra parts for the added functionality. They're on the larger side, but not too big to the point where it would immediately draw everyone's attention. At 80 grams, they're also much lighter than they look, partly because they don't have a built in battery. Instead, rely on whatever you connect them to for power. Along with the glasses, you'll also get a carrying case, USB-C to USB-C cable, a prescription lens frame if you need them, extra swappable nose pads so you can find a comfortable fit, a light shield for a more immersive experience, and a cleaning cloth. All right, so what's the big screen experience actually like with these? Well, the first thing I did was connect them to my phone and watch a movie with them, and that's where I think these really shine. The micro OLED picture quality is great, colors are vibrant, and it gets nice and bright too. Each arm has a built-in speaker that plays sound right into your ears. They sound pretty good, but to keep things a little more discreet, I personally prefer to pair some earbuds. Okay, so you know when you walk into a movie theater and you're like, the only one in there? It's kind of like that, except you can be anywhere you want. If you move around, the screen also moves with you. I spent a lot of time using them while sitting on the sofa and laying in bed. It's the most immersive in a dark room, but is great even at the park with the light shield on. It's pretty wild that I'm able to have a theater-like experience like this whenever and wherever I want. Now, if you're planning on using these with an iPhone, note that you'll need to purchase a couple of extra parts. This Enreal adapter, as well as the official Apple Lightning Digital AV adapter. Another use case that sort of blew me away was with Samsung DeX. Once plugged in, my S23 Ultra automatically recognized the Enreal Air as a display device and launched DeX on its own. Absolutely zero setup. Because you can use the phone itself as a trackpad and keyboard, this really is the ultimate portable DeX setup if you think about it. Carrying around any sort of monitor just isn't practical, let alone a 201 inch one. These glasses, on the other hand, fit right in your bag. One thing to note, you know how a traditional monitor is completely static and doesn't move? Well, with the Enway Airs, the display moves with any sort of head movement. For productivity, that does take some time to get accustomed to, but once you get used to it, it literally feels like a glimpse into the future. Like I'm literally using my phone as my computer paired to these glasses, which is displaying a massive screen right in front of me that only I can see, and I can do it wherever I want. Seriously, 10 to 15 years ago, we could only dream about something like this. Okay, let's talk about gaming on these. The Enroll Airs are compatible with all the most popular gaming devices like the Steam Deck, PS5, Xbox, and Nintendo Switch. Besides the Steam Deck, which is plug and play via USB-C, all the other consoles with HDMI output will require the use of the rechargeable Enreal adapter, which can power the Air for up to three hours of use. I personally tested with the PS4, Xbox Series X, and Nintendo Switch. They all worked perfectly. Now, most of us do our console gaming on a TV or monitor, but how many of you have a 201 inch TV at home? Or maybe you just don't have the space for a large TV. Well, that's the appeal here. Using these, I also feel like I get more immersed in the games versus just gaming on a TV in my living room. There's just less distractions and no one can walk in front of you. Also, because the screen is right in front of you at all times, you can feel free to sit in whatever position you want without cranking your neck to look over at a TV. Maybe you live with roommates or someone who doesn't appreciate you always hogging the TV to play games. Well, this could be a smart solution to that. With a long enough HDMI cable, you could technically take your gaming anywhere in the house you wanted. There are two buttons on the right arm of the glasses. One to turn off the display and a rocker that by default controls the display's brightness. Holding down the power button for three seconds switches the rocker to volume control instead. With a compatible smartphone, you can download the Nibula app, which offers a few more interactive experiences, including air casting, which mirrors your phone screen, and AR space where you can play games, interact with your own digital pet, 
Browse the web or experience what's gotta be the most immersive version of YouTube I've ever used. For controls, you use your phone like a laser pointer with the digital trackpad being used to click or scroll. In AR space, you also have the option to set it to a body tracking mode, keeping content locked in one spot as you move your head, which feels like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. While the iPhone isn't on the list of compatible phones for the Nibula app, those with an M1 or newer powered MacBook are in luck. The Nibula for Mac app is currently in beta, but it offers a peek at the future of an AR desktop experience. You can have up to three spatially anchored virtual displays, basically giving you three external monitors to expand your workspace without having to actually buy three monitors. You can move the virtual displays closer or further away, zoom them in or out, and even adjust the angle of the displays on either side to create a setup that works for you. So the Enro Air is one of the coolest products I've used in a long time. And it's one of those products you have to try for yourself to really understand its appeal. Having access to a large virtual screen that you can consume content while on the go or for a more immersive gaming experience is great. Pairing it up with phones that have desktop modes like Samsung DeX feels like a perfect match for someone who wants the most portable of setups. Even though it's still in the beta stage, plugging it into your MacBook to create virtual desktops really gives you an idea of where this technology is headed and how helpful it truly can be. But yeah, let me know what you think of these in the comments as well as any questions. As usual, thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, I'm out of here. Bye!